Google is hitting the streets to expand its Maps photo library. The search giant is recruiting what it calls Street View Trekkers. Google will let researchers from government agencies, universities, or tourism boards borrow its high-tech Street View cameras to shoot photos of hard-to-reach locations like the Grand Canyon and Mount Everest. Prospective Trekkers can apply at the Google website. Our editor-at-large, Corey Johnson, back now with more. This is interesting stuff. Why isn't Google doing it themselves? I know. Uh, have you been to the Grand Canyon? I have not been to the Grand Canyon. Have you Canyon. been to Mount Everest? I have not been to Mount Everest. Well, you're I'm, better I'm from travel. Hawaii, Corey. You're better travel <laughs> than I. I figured you've been to these places. Um, I've been to plenty of places in uh, China. I've seen Mount Everest from the plane, let's say that. See, I can't, I can't even say that. Um, I've seen pictures. It's, it's glorious, and as, as is the Grand Canyon. Uh, but you can't drive through these places. And there are places where people go where you can't drive it. So Google's come up with this really clever way to map this stuff and wants to spread this information. So they're, they're going to basically throw these things in the backs of, of people from the Hawaii Tourism Board, speaking of Hawaii, and people in these other places <laughs> to try to gather, to, as they say, trek where the cars, where the cars ain't. Uh, and really uh, expand the, the, the collection of this information that has made Google Maps the dominant player in the map business online. Does this play into Google's recent acquisition of Waze? You know, I think in terms of the Waze acquisition, this sort of represents a, a similar approach to Waze. I suspect that this has been underway for a longer time. But the idea that this is really about data collection and gathering more data and getting data from other places, I don't think that this is about a way for them to sort of uh, expand the brand and let Hawaii Tourism Board be uh, closer tied in with Google so they'll promote Google Maps, but rather it's a way just to get more and more data from more and more places and that becomes the barrier to entry that others can't match. So it is, however, a very similar approach to Waze, which is a distributed gathering of that information for their pile of data. But again, you know, when you look at the battles, for example, that, that Apple Maps has tried to uh, uh, acquire their own information, this is a way for them to get out ahead of that uh, with more participants in the program. Is there any risk associated with this? Well, I think, uh, frankly, the biggest risk they've got right now with Maps is antitrust, which is a nice problem to have, which is that they've got such a dominant position here and growing rapidly with Waze. But uh, this is, you know, if you want to take the 30,000 foot view, which one might hit flying over Mount <laughs> no Everest? No pun intended. Or 35,000. Uh, oh, how high do you? You've probably be at least 35,000 feet to see that. <laughs> and I think that uh, um, I think that that this really is about collection of data, gathering a data set that no one else can compete with. This gets them further along that path.